My artistic background comes from when I was very young. I actually took a you know, career test in sixth grade and it came out that I should be a graphic designer. So I decided then I'm gonna be a graphic designer. I love art, I've always been into art. It's always been my passion and I'm so lucky to be working in a field where I can do that right now. The medium that I like to use is really interesting. I really just get a sketchbook and then I get some magic markers. I draw really detailed little drawings. Some people are more into simple things. I like things that are really busy because I like to constantly have my eyes moving. It's just my thing. So, you know, I have a busy head, so I create busy art. Oh, here they are. Those are cool. And then when I'm done with them, I'll take pictures of them, bring them into the computer. Looking back, I can remember like when I did certain pieces because of certain ideas and stuff like that, but a lot of it, if my anxiety, you can see if it's more detailed, I was really anxious. If it's less detailed, I just kind of wanted to draw something. Getting diagnosed was a challenge because being a paranoid schizophrenic, you really don't trust anybody around you. So I think my symptoms kind of started in high school where I was really depressed all the time. And then, I did graduate high school, I go to college, I get this great roommate, and all of a sudden, I start feeling all of those same paranoid feelings about my roommate. And that's when it hit me. Oh my God, it's not everybody else, it's me. So being diagnosed with schizophrenia was the best thing that ever happened to me because then I could be treated in the right way. Today I'm here um, at Fountain House Gallery. I'm popping up with my business, Schizophrenic NYC. What Schizophrenic NYC is, it's a mental health clothing line where I'm using the medium of artwork and clothing to just raise awareness. Where are you guys from? Canada. 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 Fountain House Gallery is a part of a larger mental health organization called Fountain House. And here at the gallery, we work with artists that are living and working with mental illness. Michelle Hammer is a recently new member of our community, and we have had the opportunity to show numerous of her works over the past about two years that she's been involved with the organization. In New York City, one in five New Yorkers has a mental health issue, but nobody talks about it because of all the stigma. So I'm here in New York City showing everybody that I have schizophrenia and I started a business and everyone that has a mental illness should be freely open to talk about it because there should be no shame in any kind of mental illness. And that's what, I, that's what I'm doing, that's what I'm trying to convey, to just start a conversation. I just consider myself like, I, I, I am me. I am Michelle, I am schizophrenic, I have brown hair, I, li I live in Queens. It's just, it's just a part of me. And my art and my advocacy do work together. Getting people aware that just because you have a schizophrenia diagnosis doesn't mean your life is over. So my goal is to just start the conversation. Let's end this stigma. Let's just do it.